Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'm going to be reading is poem 914, and this is called For Now On, He's Gone. You see your friend hurting, still wanting to go back to the ex, still trying to text him, still driving by his house. This is not healthy. You turn to look at him, shake the hell out of him, and tell him for now on, he doesn't exist anymore. He fell from a plane, he got eaten by angry sharks, he got chased by a serial killer, yeah, Jason Leatherface Jigsaw, whoever, whichever. Doesn't matter. Just to let him know that he doesn't exist anymore. <clears throat> For now on, he's gone. You're banned from using that name. No longer does it fit in your vocabulary. I should keep a taser close by, just in case you forget. For now on, he's gone. He no longer exists. You hear me? You're there shocked, wondering, how could I be so mean? Oh, please. I've heard you say much worse about him. Besides, have you forgotten all the things he's done? Or should I go down the list to remind you? I'm about to speak and you cut me off. Of course, you want to refrain from bringing up the past. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. For now on, he's gone. He no longer exists. Whatever scenario you're about to come up with, just make sure you do everything you can to believe it. Think visuals. Let's use our imagination, shall we? He got ran over by a train. Aw, too bad. His car slipped and went over the hill, falling into an ocean of hungry sharks. Aw, oh, so sad. He got stuck in a horror movie and he was the opening scene and you and I are in the theater having popcorn laughing. Hold on. I think I may still have an old voodoo doll in the back of my closet. You're there shocked, wondering, how could I be so mean? But you're taking it all in. You're taking it all in. This is actually a moment you actually pull out your phone to text him. Instead, you pull it out and delete his number from your contact. Then you pause for that long moment. You remember how much it all hurt, all the things he did to you. All the empty promises, all the silent moments filled with loneliness, all the blaming, all the fights, all the times he told you he was at the gym, all the lies, all the I love yous didn't amount to anything. The cheating, the drugs, and God knows what else that you never discovered. You look at me and say one last thing. You're absolutely right. From now on, he's not gone. He's dead in my book.